Hello everyone, this is Zach Cross on the Zach Cross channel, back with another food review just for you. Um, today I will be trying the new uh, Chapizza from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Here's the box here. Um, for some reason they didn't put the pepperoni on it, but I want to see maybe if it's under the sauce. It doesn't look like there's any pepperoni under here, but I specifically ordered a regular pepperoni, so I I don't know why. I mean I don't see it in, on on the chicken breast anywhere, but but here it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little a little closer for you guys. There it is. It looks good. Mozzarella, cheese, and then the bottom layer is chicken. I also got a Pepsi, which is very good, and their secret recipe french fries which are right here so first let's try the chapizza um, here's a breast here um, except for the pepperoni which I specifically ordered I ordered uh, on the app or the website I ordered regular pepperoni I didn't put no it's it's a no or regular and I put regular I don't know why they had the pepperoni off of it, but it could just be maybe they didn't have enough pepperonis. I don't know. So, okay, here's the first bite. Mm. It's good. Um, has a very good uh, chicken flavor. The cheese and the sauce is very present. The chicken, I will say, is a little under seasoned. Um, the sauce kind of is a nice play on it with that saucy sort of savory uh, pizza sauce. I'm going to get another bite here of it. Mm. It's very good. But I will say, the chicken is just a little bit under seasoned. I'll take a bite of the big breast here. Mm. Once I took a bite of everything, like with the breading on it, I will say, it has a very good flavor. That savory sort of Pizza sauce is nice with the tomato. The cheese gives it a nice tangy contrast. And overall, it's very tender. You can see the tenderness of the white meat right there. That's good too. Except maybe for the un a little under seasoning of the chicken. Crunchiness. Is there. And overall, it has a very nice texture and flavor. So, for the new Chapizza from um, KFC, I will be giving this a, a higher score. I'll be giving it a 4.0 out of 5 stars. It would be a little higher on my scale if, if it was... Now, here's another thing that's a little bit, bit bad. It, 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 it's kind of lukewarm like with with uh, chicken you kind of have to have it at a at a nice hot consistency this chicken is a little bit lukewarm and but the overall taste and texture is good it's just a little lukewarm little little on the lukewarm side and the breading is a nice contrast with that crispiness in the in the in the sauce but um, the breading is a tiny tiny bit under seasoned uh, usually with KFC you have um, a very good uh, secret recipe flavor for the chicken but it doesn't seem to be breaded in that way which is an okay thing but yeah, a little lower I'll give it a 4.0 out of 5 stars for the new chip pizza okay um, Diet Pepsi is a Diet Pepsi and there's not really anything to review there has a good flavor um, the secret recipe for eyes I will also be tasting. It 
they're good. Um, nice and crispy with a little bit of salt and seasoning. Very nice. Um, I probably want a sauce with them, but I didn't go for a sauce. I'm just eating them how they came. Good. But even though they're very crispy and very tasty, they are, again, lukewarm. They're, they're not very warm. If, with, with fries, you'd expect a little bit more warmness. Not very uh, warm, but I, I get it. They, they have a lot of people come in there, but their, their carryout, I, I just used and uh, paid online. But um, yeah, that's, that's that. I'll, I'll give these fries a... I'll give them an average score of a 3.7 out of 5 stars. Again, regular on my scale, regular french fries. Um, that's it. The, the pizza was pretty, pretty expensive, I will say, at basically $9 plus tax would be like $10. So it was a little expensive on the more expensive side for KFC. But um, yeah, that's it. If you want to check out my Etsy, it's random stuff too by Zach. Um, I have post all my vintage clock radios and other glassware on there. Um, I have Instagram, Zach Cross, K R O S, and my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, comment my, on my. YouTube channel, and uh, I'll see everybody later.